Hey YouTube, today we're going to be looking at another grizzly bear killer. We're going to be looking at a miniature North American Arms 22 Magnum mini revolver. And yes folks, I was kidding about the grizzly bear thing. I have to mention that every now and then to keep people honest. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to show you that this little grizzly bear killer doesn't have anything in it. The cylinder has to come out of it, and there is nothing in this thing, and everybody is safe to watch this video. So, what we have here is a North American Arms 22 Magnum Miniature Revolver. And this company, North American Arms, they came out around 1972. They were known for building little bicycle guns and stuff like that, and... Around 1990, Freedom Arms is the ones that originally designed this miniature revolver here. Freedom Arms is a real high-end company that builds, like, single-action Colt clones. Only they build them to the next level. I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous. They're really well-made and all that. They're the ones that designed this. They sold the design to North American Arms here in 1990. And North American Arms started manufacturing them. And... Man, they must have sold about a zillion of them. I think about everybody who's hardcore in the firearms has bought one of these and owned it. And I figured if anybody's watching this channel, they probably figured I owned one of these. And I was going to do a video on one one day because a lot of people love them. And there's cult followings of these things. I actually have a friend of mine who's, I think, he's got every one of them he's ever made. He's got a whole shelf in his safe devoted to just these little um, North American arms miniature revolvers but these things are real well made and they're like a novelty they don't really serve any purpose if you think you're going to carry this in your pocket for self-defense you might think otherwise after watching this video now a 22 this one's only chambered 22 magnum they have them where you can interchange the cylinders in them for 22 long rifle and the 22 magnum this one doesn't have to be the one this is only chambered in 22 magnum now, 22 Magnum is a pretty hot round, and you would think that would be a real awesome little pocket gun to carry. Think again. I mean, this thing is semi dangerous. So, this is kind of like a black powder pistol or rifle. Like, it's got five shots, but once those five shots are up, you really got a lot of work to do. There's going to be no speed load in this. So, the way that you have to reload it is you push in on this little button, and you pull this rod out here. The rod pulls out, and then you kind of pull the hammer back a little bit, and the whole cylinder drops out. And then all the shells that stick in there, you use the rod here, and you sit there and you poke those out one at a time to drop the empty casings out. Then you load five more of them back in, and you take the cylinder, and sometimes it requires playing with the hammer a little bit to get it back in there, lined up. And then you take this rod and this little... This little dimple area here goes up against the barrel. Line all that up, you push it in, and it's back together and working again. It's a single action only. So every time you pull back the um, hammer, you have to pull the hammer back every time it fires. Now, if you'll notice on this cylinder here, between each each cylinder that that the round goes in, there's a little notch here. Now, what that is for is this hammer here, if it's resting in the rested position right here where you have a cylinder lined up with it, that hammer is resting against a casing, a shell, a live shell. And if you hit this thing or drop it, that could go off. That's kind of dangerous. So what this is for is you cock this hammer back a little bit and you pull the trigger and you line this up right in between the two cylinders. See, I have a cylinder on the right and a cylinder on the left, and you can see it from this side. So this hammer is now resting in one of these little notches right here that go in between the two cylinders. So that hammer is resting on the cylinder and not a live round. So if you hit it here now, it'd be safe to carry. Now, when you unload this thing, when you unload this thing, as I just showed you, you're going to pull this pin out right here. You're going to move this hammer back a little bit, and you're going to load your five rounds into it. 
Well, then when you get to stick this thing in, remember, you're going to have live rounds in here. You're going to have to pull back on this chamber just a little bit to get this thing to go in. Now, you have live rounds in here. And you're going to have to be really, really, really careful because your hand is going to come dangerously close to being in front of that muzzle. And I don't know about you folks, but that makes me a little nervous running my finger in there in front of that. Then when you pull this thing back to put it in a safe position, you have to actually pull the, pull the trigger to do that. And like one little mistake here. You know, you could you could set one of these things off. Now I've never done it, and I feel confident that I can operate this thing without getting in trouble. But I can see how it could be a little little finicky. But as you can see, you got a little bit of work to do between the five rounds. And I mean, this is more like a gut gun or something like that. I mean, this thing is not accurate. Then this is not a hundred yard pistol, folks. No pistols a hundred yard pistol, but it is a lot of fun. Just go out and shoot. It's really loud. It's really awkward to hold on to this. I used to have one that folded up. It had a folding thing on it. It acted as a holster also. It would cover the trigger. So if you put it in your pocket, you couldn't get to the trigger anyway. And I understand it's supposed to be safe how it is right now, but I mean, I don't like anything with the trigger exposed or anything like that. But these things are really neat. I just don't know that I would use this as self-defense. I mean, I would... If this was the very last thing that I had, I guess that would have to work and all that. But this is not the first thing I would grab for self-defense. I don't even think I would use this as a backup gun. I think I'd get so worked up trying to figure out how to work this thing in time of distress. Plus, I haven't had proper training with this thing because I don't ever plan on carrying it as self-defense. But it's just a little awkward gun. You should see, I mean, I have little bit larger than average hands and there's how it fits in my hand right here folks so it's not going to be a real real easy thing to hold aim and shoot it's more like a gut gun and it's a novelty thing for you to show off at the range or show people when they're over at your house but they're very well made from what i can see and um they're really neat you know these grips are real nice looking like walnut looking this little short barrel really takes away from the velocity that the 22 Magnum offers because that is a great round, the 22 Magnum, but I mean, it can't really get a lot of velocity on this little one inch barrel or anything like that. But I just want to show y'all, I figured everybody figured I had one of these things, and I do, and I know a lot of you folks have these things, and I'd like to hear what you think about them. I think they're really neat little, little items and all that. But it's kind of like some of the stuff I've shown on here, like the Uzi 9mm or the, I think recently I did one on a Mac 11, my Mac 11, and I have, it's a novelty item, folks, it's not really practical. Like the Mac 11 weighs about a zillion pounds, big block of steel, same with the Uzi, but it's cool to have. This thing weighs like nothing and literally fits in the palm of your hand, but what are you going to do with it? It's, it's a little bit dangerous if you don't really know what you're doing or anything like that, but it is cool. They're very loud. It, they attract a lot of attention when they shoot off and all that, but who wouldn't want to have a little, little pocket gun like this? But anyway, folks, let me know what you think about my little North American Arms 22 Magnum Mini Revolver. And if you have any questions on it, feel free to reach out to me and... Thank you very much for watching my video. You folks have a great day.